Hey, what's up everybody? This is Royce from Pedal Mile. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be opening up this Greenlight Hollywood Last of the V8 Interceptors Mad Max ramp truck with the Ford Falcon XB. And it should be pretty cool. Um, I've wanted this for a while now and just kind of finally got around to ordering it mainly to review it for the channel and also because I am a huge Mad Max fan and I have quite a few Mad Max collectibles in my basement. Uh, not much to see here on the back of the pack besides a glare and a desert scene. Uh, this is again kind of like the Christine cars I just went over. Uh, hobby exclusive, whatever that means, I'm not really sure. Was it only went to hobby shops or wherever, but um, either way, I got it off eBay and there's quite a few sellers that have them at competitive pricing so we'll go ahead here and crack this open and i did drag up some of my other uh mad max collectibles we can kind of stick them all together here then and take a gander the older i get i enjoy taking them out of the pack and displaying them but we could probably see if i can get that Card art out, which would be kind of cool without messing it up too much here. Get rid of that. So there we have that. We could probably put that here in the background, which might be cool. It's going to be hard to see, but I think we got black on black here. Now I got to see if we can get these little ramps out of the. Out. There's one. There's two. And then these just snap on really cool what I'm already seeing here with this and I must say this is the first green light ramp truck that I that I've purchased so let me zoom up here a little closer here on this bad boy we'll go ahead here and we'll spin around and take a look at it very very cool one thing I had noticed here as I was kind of setting that up there's actually got a it has a flat black section on the hood of the the truck kind of to, to match well it is to match the same uh, shape as what's on the XB which is really cool I had not noticed that before and of course we have the interceptor uh, maintain right I believe decals on the sides of the truck there I'll have to grab my magnifying glass and look at that closer got some kind of i guess it's this is what i've seen with a lot of uh a lot of green lights they have a lot of oil it's like an oil on them so you kind of if you just have a soft towel you can kind of usually clean that off i'm not sure what the oil's from it could be just like packaging uh gassing out or something like that that gets on the paint this I'm get my hands out of the way this thing is really cool but we got it that whatever's on it's all over the glass there too i noticed the back window of the car had it as well my hands are all busted up from my job so that's why i put the gloves on some of you guys like to make fun of me for putting gloves on i, I do use gloves to handle my very expensive 118th scale cars but normally i do not wear gloves for um, 164th unless it's something expensive the hood does open on it we just got a big chunk of blue in there i assume it's supposed to be a 460. and of course you get it's like an extra bonus to get another interceptor this truck is just it's very very detailed there you can see the the hood pattern i was saying about the mat oh it's even got a a small pinstripe around it as well there that is just really cool. I had not noticed that before. We even have a little winch in the back there of the truck and some lights. The base is plastic on this, but we got the dually tires. That one's a little askew there. Could probably be fixed. I, I don't know. I think green lights are just awesome. I think especially for the money oh cool we have a main force patrol mfp plate on the front that's cool to see i didn't even notice that earlier 
two red tail lights. I like the detailing of the railings. Just incredible, really, for the price. I think I paid $12 maybe for this, $12 to $15 for the set. And a couple bucks for shipping. I I don't know. I'm back. Not sure how much I just lost there. My uh, it said memory card full, so I don't know how much I lost there. But I was saying about I could bring in some other cars that I have. We'll bring in some other interceptors. Uh, these are not really movie correct, obviously, but they're Johnny Lightning ones. We could see how they look on the back of here. We have the AMX. That looks pretty cool with the black. We have the Chevelle, which doesn't really exactly fit. It's just barely, just barely fits. And then we have Hot Wheels version, which I always thought this kind of looked like an Interceptor, um, the Mustang here. So it was a date of 2011. So I picked that up for really cheap, like three or four dollars one time, I think on eBay. But these cars have MFP on them from the Giant Lightnings and of course nowadays they, they bring a good bit of money. I'm sure Hot Wheels was influenced by that when they did that Mustang. I can almost bet on it because it oddly enough sure looks to me like it's influenced by Mad Max. So there you go. That is the ramp truck review. And I thought that was pretty cool. If you guys like that, let me know. Hopefully Greenlight uh, produces their the other um, interceptors, which would be cool. And uh, the Mad Max 2 version of the XB interceptor with the fuel tanks in the back. That would be really, really cool. And I think they will eventually. So there you go. It's the review of the ramp truck. What was that? Supposed to be a 1972 Ford ramp truck. If you like this type of video, be sure to give me a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're not a subscriber, please consider it. It's free. You can't be free. And hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, I will see you guys. Later. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. All right. Have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye now.